Happy New Year, geckos! 2024 might be shaping up to be an exciting year ahead. So aside from our deeper dives and explainers, we want to try to get the most important news and developments in the space to you when it matters. So of course, we have to start with the biggest news of last week. In a landmark ruling on January 10th, the SEC has finally approved all 11-spot Bitcoin ETF applications from big players like BlackRock, Fidelity, and more. A decision that's been awaited for over a decade. A little bit of trivia for you. 15 years ago, on January 11th, 2009, marked the day where Hal Finney tweeted running Bitcoin, introducing the world to Bitcoin. Now, 15 years later, here we are at the doorsteps of institutions and retail alike. The ETF products went live about a day after the approval, with $4.6 billion in trading volume cleared in their first 24 hours, as funds vied to be the top ETF provider of choice. Now that spot Bitcoin ETFs are done and dusted, naturally the market has looked to the next candidate of interest in line, Ethereum. In case you don't recall, BlackRock, Fidelity, and a number of the other funds who recently had their spot BTC ETF approved have also applied for a spot ETH ETF sometime in November last year. At least at the time of shooting, markets had responded accordingly. And instead of just the expected sell the news event for Bitcoin, which did play out with BTC down roughly 13% at time of shooting, we also saw capital rotating into Ethereum and other alts to a lesser extent. Bitcoin dominance has taken a big hit last week as a result, closing weekly below the bull market support band for the first time since December 2022. While this may indicate some bullishness for alts in terms of their BTC value, if BTC were to sell off more aggressively from here, do expect the altcoin markets to follow suit. Though outside the top two largest crypto, based on Gensler's rather hostile statement on the spot BTC ETF approval, perhaps we shouldn't be expecting any other spot crypto ETFs to be approved so quickly. You might also want to keep your eyes on the ETH BTC chart, which has been in a precarious or pivotal area for many weeks. We'll need to be patient to see if this important two-year-plus support holds in the coming weeks. The new deadline that everyone will now be holding their breath for is May 23rd, the earliest date for SEC's final deadline for a decision on Vandex Spot ETH ETF. While there are others due for later, it's again expected that the SEC will either approve or reject all of them at once to avoid any appearance of favoritism. Perhaps drowned out by general market bullishness and spot Bitcoin ETF news, an interesting development occurred for Ethereum late last year. On December 28th, Vitalik published a proposal for a philosophical pivot, suggesting to reduce the number of validator signatures per block required to keep the network running from 28,000 to 8,192. This apparently would make the Ethereum POS consensus much less technically complex, reduce load, make the network more quantum resistant, and lower the total slashable ETH from 9 million to about 1 to 2 million ETH. The proposal is still under discussion, but for the techies, this might be something you want to follow. In other news, keep your eyes out for the incoming JUP airdrop by top DEX aggregator Jupiter on Solana, which is targeted for sometime at the end of January, and may even be out by the time this video is published. If you aren't eligible, fret not, as you may still have a chance with newer protocols on Solana, such as Camino, MarginFi, and more. Happy hunting! So that's it for this week. Let us know what type of news you would like to hear more of, and we'll do our best to include it in our next update. And if you need a refresher on Bitcoin dominance or the bull market support band, check out our explainers on those here or here.